what you want to be when you look in your heart is in me you see i want you to know you can count on me you're precious so precious when you dream your dreams are they happy thoughts when you go away do you miss me when you grow You are wise, you're precious, so precious. I only wanna do right by you. Sometimes life can lead you in different directions. Don't let anyone bring. Welcome to another edition of Here's Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me and spending another Sunday night with me. I'm so glad you came to be with me. Today we are at Sputnik in Brooklyn, another hot spot. We're going to go take you around town. We were at Vertigo the other week. Now we're here at Sputnik. You can check it out online at www.sputnik.com. We're going to go inside. We have a lot of artists. You saw Josh Lutz in a previous episode, and he has his artwork here. And we're going to see his artwork and some more artwork. We're going to talk to some artists. We're going to see some DJs, and we're going to see some music and dancing. And let's go in and see what's going on, okay? Come join me. Don't go anywhere. Come on, New York. Okay, well, here's the dance floor. We're going to come back there, but let's go first look at the artwork here. It is amazing, this artwork. Look at this gold. I'm not sure who the artist is for this one. Usually at Sputnik here, they have the artist with their artwork. So we'll see if this artist comes back later. But let's look over here. We have the artist with this piece. Excuse me. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. My name's Lisa from the Here's Lisa Show. I'm good. This is Jamal. Jamal, what's your last name? McClary. McClary? Yes, Jamal McClary. Jamal McClary, and I understand you are you run this event? I help put it all together. Um, I basically book the artists and make sure that everyone's here, and, you know, we just have a nice atmosphere. And how often do you do this? We do this um, about twice a month. Um, we have a show called Kaleidoscope. Me and my business partner, Mike, put it on. And it's just kind of like a street art, graffiti, music culture event. So we always have live hip-hop, and we always have a lot of great artists that come back here, and they love to show their work. This is great. So you can look at artwork and dance. And exactly. Jamal, I was wondering if you can just explain a little bit about your artwork to the audience here. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, may I? Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, well, as you can see, this is my work here. Um, I am a self-taught artist. I'm 26 years old from Queens. Um, and a lot of my work is just, I guess, self-creative, I guess you could say. Um, I've never gone to school for any of, any of the work that you see. And this is just what comes out of my imagination. Um, Have you been doing this since you were real little? Cause I, I've been doing this since I was about two. Wow. So it's about 24 years total. Now I understand this one you can get in print? Yes, I actually, um, I just had prints made of this. And you can order these at 1019.com. And these are, these are great prints. Everyone loves this piece um, for 20 bucks. They're 12 by 18. They're great prints. I have no complaints. I also understand, Jamal, that you are into toys, so yes. let's talk about this sculpture here. Oh, and look, there's a painting of it, too. Yes, well, I kind of wanted to do a series, and this is um, just a character that I came up with. I love going to Kid Robot. I love the imagination that they do with their toys and everything. And um, so what I did was I made this painting, and then I've never sculpted before in my life. And one day I just wanted to pick up some clay, and this is actually my first sculpture that I made. So... This is actually, as you can see, a semi-replica of what we, what we have here. So the painting came first? The painting came first. Oh, and made it three-dimensional. Yeah, and this is the, uh, his name is the Purple Murder Monster. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to get into toy design and everything. You name it, I would love to do it. So this is actually what I've been moving into. So how was that for you to take something off the canvas and make it three-dimensional? It was... A learning experience, just 
make sure you have the right proportions for everything and to make sure it looks exactly how the way I drew it. But it really completes, I guess, the illustration for me because I was able to do it in 2D and then 3D. So it actually, it's, it's now full circle. So it was a great learning experience and I can't wait to do it again. Now we have some paint cans here. Want to tell us about that? These, thank you. These are, um, well, most of my work that I do is in spray paint. And these are images. I didn't want to throw these cans away. So these are images that I, that I would draw onto the can and um, just pasted them on and just made sure that they were just something nice and eye-catching and something different that people haven't seen before. Now, what, what, kind of, what kind of paint is that? This is actually marker. And what I did was I glued it to the can, and then there's a nice glaze that goes over it to make it all nice and uniform. And you can touch it, and nothing, nothing happens. It won't rub. It won't do anything. You said I could touch it. You can. You can. <laughs> so all of these, each one is different. And I'm thinking about just doing an entire series um, just all of, of empty cans that I have. Okay, Jamal, we had Josh M. Litz at the studio, and he was talking about how he loved working with spray paint and that every artist should dabble in it. What do you think about spray paint? I think that he's absolutely right. Every artist should. Um, spray paint is a great medium. It's very versatile, and it can, it's very fast. It can fade easily. You can do a lot of things with spray paint that a lot of people probably don't think you can. It's not just graffiti. It's not just for graffiti. You can take it beyond that and really make a great art piece out of it. I think every artist should experiment with, with spray paint as well. It's a great medium. Okay, let's talk about your fashion design. I understand you design your own shirts and yes. other fashion. I do. Um, this is actually a hand-painted design that I did um, in about 20 minutes or so. And I've done hand-painted shirts, um, hats, jeans, sneakers, t-shirts, you name it, I've done it. And I actually have two clothing lines coming out um, this summer. One is called C1 and another one is called A Dot Dream. And both of these lines will be very, very exclusive lines. Um, we're doing things that people haven't seen before, and we're really excited about it. So we really can't wait for these lines to come out, and just to, just to get everyone's eyes on it. It's really going to be something nice. Can you tell everybody your website? Absolutely. My website is 101nine.com. That's 1019.com. Or you can hit me on MySpace, myspace.com forward slash 1019. Is there anything else here that you want to talk about? Because you have such a, you know, I hear this book, we'll have to flip through this book, Clarence, and look at some of these prints, but any, what do you think of when you're creating? I, I think of originality. I think of creativity, and I think of fun. So I always want something that doesn't look like the next person's artwork, and I want mine to be very distinguishable and very much so my style. So I always just try and do things that people haven't done or that I haven't seen before that I want to do. And I always think that it should be original and as fresh as you can possibly make it. If you could describe your style, Jamal's, Jamal's style, what would it be? Oh, man. I knew you were going to ask me that. I knew you were going to ask me that. I would say it's, it's urban, cartoon, anime-ish. Somewhere in that, in that realm, that's where I fall. So. That's great. Any particular colors you like to work with? Bright colors. Bright colors. I love any and all colors, as you can see. Um, but bright colors like this, you know, the dark green with the light green and the orange and two different shades of black. I just, there's just something that I like with bright colors and just making sure that it contrasts every single thing that's, that's around it. I feel like color is my strong point, so I really try and bring that out in my paintings. This is the book I was talking about that um, Jamal has a lot of different stuff in here. And um, Jamal, do you want to just quick, yeah, do you want to just talk a little bit about this? Absolutely. Let's see. We can start with, uh, this is my introduction to my book. Um, through every book, I like to have a strong introduction. This one is just has more so of a um, robotic sci-fi theme, as you can see, and it spreads throughout these two pages. Um, there's no real meaning behind this. I just wanted something that was new, something that was eye-catching, and... Uh, this is called Picking Up the Pieces. As you can see, this robot is reassembling himself um, and reinventing himself. And, you know, in retrospect... It's definitely feel velvety. Like, you it, want to touch it. Please do. You can. It's, it's protected. You won't leave any fingerprints. And um, this is marker. This is spray paint. And this is about a few hours of my time. So, let's see. Is that all? A few hours. That's it. I have it. I have it down to a science. See, we also have this work right here. This was an early page that I did just for my website, and it just says 1019.com. 
and I just wanted something, you know, inventive. Yep, this color's my strong point. I like to do things like this. And this is some of my earlier work as well.